Hello, I'm Robert Ficano, Wayne County Executive. As you know, we as a government are facing some very deep fiscal challenges. Now the easy solution is to cut across the board. The smart solution is to find new ways to get things done so that we can continue to provide necessary services for both our residents and our employees. And that is exactly what we are doing. Everyone is giving a little bit now so that we can survive and prosper going forward. One example is our employee and our retiree benefits. Current employees are now contributing monthly towards the cost of health care benefits and are subject to higher deductibles and co-pays. And at the same time, retirees, while still covered under an excellent health plan, will begin bearing a little bit more of the cost of the coverage. You have to note, however, that there is also some savings for both the retirees and the new plan as well. That being said, Please take a moment to watch this comprehensive overview of the changes that are going to be effective on October 1st. Hello, my name is Bill Wolfson, Corporation Counsel for Wayne County. I'm going to take a few minutes to explain the changes in our retiree health benefits. But for more detailed information, please call the number on the screen or go to waynecounty.com. As you heard Wayne County Executive Robert Fracano say, Current employees are now contributing monthly towards the cost of health care benefits and are subject to higher deductibles and co-pays. Similarly, retirees, while still covered under an excellent health plan, will begin bearing a little bit more of the cost of their coverage. Please note, however, that there are also some cost savings for retirees on the new plan. That being said, let me provide a brief overview of the changes effective on October 1, 2009. On that date, we will be offering three coverage plan choices to our retirees. For those who are PPO participants, we will offer the new Community Blue Cross PPO. We are also offering a HAP HMO, and for those who prefer, we still offer traditional coverage. Retirees who are PPO participants will be enrolled in the new Blue Cross Community Blue PPO plan with the same national network of healthcare providers currently enjoyed by our employees and retirees. On the one hand, retirees covered by the PPO plan will now be subject to a small annual deductible as well as co-pays for most services and prescription drugs covered under the plan. On the other hand, this plan returns valuable services to our retirees that they enjoyed prior to their retirement, services such as specialist consultations, durable medical equipment and supplies, and chiropractic services. The PPO plan also adds coverage for annual routine preventative services at 100% reimbursement. This is a brand new benefit added to encourage retiree wellness. There are no upfront payments for any of these wellness services if using Blue Cross participating providers. Now, as I said, we are also offering a HAP HMO plan to our retirees. Retirees using the new HAP HMO plan will also be responsible for small co-pays on office and emergency room visits, as well as on prescription drugs. Some retirees may opt to stay in a traditional coverage plan. These retirees will also experience a change in their prescription drug co-pays and will contribute a small amount monthly towards their coverage if all covered members are not Medicare eligible. However, if both the retiree and their spouse are Medicare eligible, they will not be required to make a monthly contribution. The bottom line is that while retirees will do their part by putting in a little more, they will still have top-notch coverage and in some instances improve benefits. Complete details will be provided by Wayne County's Human Resources Department as part of the annual health benefit open enrollment period. Please call the number on the screen or go to the website listed here for more detailed information. If possible, please try to be aware of all changes prior to getting any medical treatments. Despite these difficult financial times, Wayne County is proud that it's been able to maintain excellent health care coverage with individual plan choices and added benefits for its retirees. Thank you. Thank you, Bill, for that detailed explanation. As your county executive, I want to thank you for your willingness to do your part to help us ride out the nation's economic storm 
and lead Wayne County back to prosperity.